Hello guys, welcome back to another video. After seeing all the news online about Atomic Hearts and the new game, I decided I wanted to make a tutorial showing you guys how to set up Jiggle Physics on any character inside of Unreal Engine 5. In this case, we're going to be using the twin model from the game Atomic Heart to set up Jiggle Physics on inside of Unreal Engine 5. I'll include a link to download the model in the description below so you can follow along. Also, before the video starts, I want to quickly tell you about my new Unreal Engine course. I created a Unreal Engine 5 course that shows you how to make games inside of Unreal Engine. In this course, we make a complete multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree rock or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course was designed with beginners in mind, so if you are new to game development or Unreal Engine, you can take this entire course. I walk you through step by step and I explain the why behind what we are doing through each lecture. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there. All right, so here we are in Blender. So I imported this mesh. So if you are trying to set this up on any other custom model, basically what you want to do is you want is you want to make sure that you have bones rigged for the breasts because that's essentially how we set up the physics. So if your character model doesn't have those extra bones, all you have to do is go into Blender and select your armature, go into the edit mode, and then what you need to do is add in those extra bones. So what I do is I go to add single bone, and then you just take the bone and move it up. You can go into the right view, rotate this, scale it down, and basically position it like so. And then since Unreal Engine removes the end of the bones, you need to extend one out extra. Then you just take this and center it like so. So we'll do the right one and then as well as the left one. So do armature duplicate and then move that over like so. Now what you need to do is parent these bones to the skeletal mesh. So select this bone and then shift select this one and do control P and then click keep offset. Same for this one, shift select that one, click control P and keep offset. Okay, so that will just ensure if you move this part of the skeleton, both of these bones will also be connected to the same skeleton. Now you want to go ahead and weight paint these, which means assign the actual weight paint to the bones. And so in Blender, you just shift select the armature and the mesh and go into weight paint. Then if you control click the bones, you can see what the weight paint looks like. Okay, so you know this part of the spine, you can see what it, the bone controls. In our case, you want to select this part of the bone for the breast, and then just left click to paint the actual weight. Okay, so we might need to increase our radius just a bit and basically paint on what part this bone will control. Okay, so you want to select the other one as well and paint on the weight for that. And basically that should be good. Then you just go back into object mode, shift select everything and do file export.fbx. And you just export your model as an FBX. In your armature, you can uncheck you know, add leaf bones and click export FBX. Okay, so I've already done this and I've added a couple of different animations. So I have, you know, idle, walk animation. So if you're downloading the project files, this is what you're going to see. And basically, we're going to take the twin model and drag it into the Unreal Engine editor. You want to check skeletal mesh, import mesh, make sure the skeleton is empty because we're creating a skeleton and this should all be fine just click import all and then you're going to get all these warning messages we can just ignore that close out of that so we have the model here this animation we can delete that now to set up the materials you just right click create a new folder move all these in here 
download the textures and just shift select and drag them into here. Now the way these textures work is each one, so it's named, you know, one, two, then cloth, and then golden. So we'll just open up each of these materials and hook up, you know, all the materials into their respective slots. So I've already done this, so I'm just gonna assign my materials. Okay, so I've set up the materials and I've assigned them, and it should look like something like this. You hooked up all your materials right. Now to import the animations, just shift select everything except for the twin model. We already imported that. Drag and drop them. And uncheck import mesh. We wanna make sure this skeleton is selected, the twin model skeleton. Now I set the import rotation to 90 on X because these animations are kind of, you know, rotated weird. So just click import all. Okay, and now we should have you know, our walking animation, our idle animation, and all that stuff, okay? Now what we wanna do next is create a new animation blend space and select our twin, our twins model skeleton, and double click to open that up. Now the way the blend space works is, you know, we blend between different animations on the timeline. So for our horizontal axis, we're gonna name this to speed, and then we're gonna have our idle animation so let's drag that and put that at zero then we should have our walking animation put that drag that on the timeline select that and we can set this to you know, 200 our maximum value of our horizontal axis let's set this to 600 now we should be able to select this speed point and set this to 200 and we should have a slow run so we'll drag that and set the speed for that to 600 Okay, so we should have our idle at zero, our walk, and then our run, okay? And if you hold down control, you can preview between the animations. So save all that, close there, add a new animation, animation blueprint, and we wanna search for our twin model skeleton, click create, and double click to open this up. So this is where we'll actually set up the jiggle physics. So all we need to do is off the result, add a state machine. So state machine, double click in there and drag off the entry and add a state. This will be our idle, walk, run. And double click to open that up and drag in our new blend space for the result. For our speed, drag off of here and promote that to variable, name speed. Now back all the way out to your anim graph. So this is where we're actually gonna set up the jiggle physics. So if we go ahead and off this new state machine, what we wanna do is drag up here and do component local to component. And then off of here, what we can do is do a spring controller. So if we select the spring controller, we can choose a bone that we wanna affect. In our case, we want to affect the breast L01. So this is the bone that we set up in Blender. So copy, paste that again, and we want to do the same for the breast R01 that we set up in Blender. So hook that up like so, compile, and now you can see we sort of have some movement here. So if you select the speed variable, we can, in the default value, set this to 200. And now you see we sort of have this walk animation playing and we can kind of see our you know, jiggle physics in action. So this value right here, the alpha, is what actually controls the overall value. Over here, you have things like spring stiffness and spring damping. So you know we could say like 100 spring stiffness. And maybe we'll select this one as well and do 100 as well. So compile. And now you can kind of see the effects so you guys can play around with the values. Maybe I'll put this back to 50. And you can play around with the alpha as well. You could do you know, 0.5 and 0.5. That will add a little bit you know, more stiffness in our simulation. So it's totally up to you, but that is the setup for our anim graph. Now in the event graph, if you're gonna use this for an actual character to you know, run around, what you want to do off the return route is do a is valid check. Then you want to 
off of the return value get velocity get velocity of the character and then do a vector length and then take our speed and set that on the graph to that vector length okay so this will allow us to use this animation blueprint inside of our character so then just go to your third person character so if this is a third person template if it's not you can just click add feature content pack and add the third person template into here but if you have it in here already you just go to third person blueprints open up the third person character then select the mesh and just assign it to that twin model and then for the anim class you just assign it to that new animation blueprint okay and then once you've gone ahead and assigned it and it's also in the game mode just click play and basically you have you know, your character model with the jiggle physics and you can walk around you know the level and whatnot okay okay so that is going to be it for this tutorial i just wanted to show you guys how you can set up jiggle physics inside of unreal engine for really any character that you have if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you check out my multiplayer survival game course if you want to learn how to make your very first game inside of unreal engine 5 link in the description below and as always i'll see you guys in the next one